peace is in staying the course. Tranquility can't be grasped except by those who have reached an unwavering and firm power. Of judgment the rest constantly fall and rise in their decisions, wavering in a state of alternately rejecting and accepting things. What is the cause of this back and forth? It's because nothing is clear and they rely on the most uncertain guide common opinion. Seneca, Moral Letters, 95.57b, 58a. And Seneca's essay on tranquility, he uses the Greek word euthymia, which he defines as believing in yourself and trusting that you are on the right path, and not being in doubt by following the myriad footpaths of those wandering in every direction. It is this state of mind, he says, that produces tranquility. Clarity of vision allows us to have this belief. That's not to say we're always going to be 100% certain of everything, or that we even should be. Rather, it's that we can rest assured we're heading generally in the right direction that we don't need to constantly compare ourselves with other people or change our mind every three seconds based on new information. Instead, tranquility and peace are found in identifying our path and in sticking to it, staying the course, making adjustments here and there naturally but ignoring the distracting sirens who beckon us to turn toward the rocks. A. January 16th. Never do anything out of habit. So in the majority of other things, we address circumstances not in accordance with the right assumptions, but mostly by following wretched habit. Since all that I've said is the case, the person in training must seek to rise above so as to stop seeking out pleasure and steering away from pain, to stop clinging to living and abhorring death, and in the case of property and money, to stop valuing receiving over giving. Musonius Rufus, Lectures, 6.25.5, 11. Worker is asked, why did you do it this way? The answer, because that's the way we've always done things. The answer frustrates every good boss and sets the mouth of every entrepreneur watering. The worker has stopped thinking and is mindlessly operating out of habit. The business is ripe for disruption by a competitor, and the worker will probably get fired by any thinking boss. We should apply the same ruthlessness to our own habits. In fact, we are studying philosophy. Precisely to break ourselves of rote behavior. Find what you do out of rote memory or routine. Ask yourself, is this really the best way to do it? Know why you do what you do do it for the right reasons.